Hello, this is James Holmes from jamesholmesstudio.com and I want to introduce you to a painting that has been on exhibition uh, until yesterday, October 25th. It had been at Spark Gallery in the Art District on Santa Fe and the exhibition entitled Brought to Light, an invitational exhibition uh, concluded and I decided to bring this painting home with me and hung it in my home office and I'm going to live with it for just a little while. Uh, which is not an uncommon uh, practice for me. And um, I'm going to introduce you to the painting and talk a little bit about it uh, right now. So the painting is called The Providence of Divine Light. And the interpretation of the title of the exhibition, Brought to Light, uh, has a lot of different potential um, a lot of different potential meanings. And I ended up kind of uh, looking at it from a, a spiritual uh, point of view and developing the uh, expression in this painting, um, a lot of interpretations uh, from my um, perspective in terms of spirituality and um, evolving the human spirit. Uh, first thing is I want to mention that the base color in this canvas is clearly this uh, brilliant blue. And the color blue means for me uh, truth. Um, it is a, a color of trust and a color of um, elevation. I like that the color is uh, found in nature in a couple of very dramatic and beautiful ways. Uh, you think about the crystal blue waters in the Caribbean or you know the, the sky on a clear day. And blue has got that light, uh, life-giving, uh, reassuring type of a, of a feeling. That's the reaction I have when I see blue. And blue is one of my favorite uh, colors. So with that being the backdrop, um, there's a number of different forms that you'll see in the painting. And the, the light, uh, which is represented in the gold and yellow and orange tones uh, that are in the, in the painting. And then you have these darker forms um, that I am representing as spirit. Um, so not the physical human form, but spirit. And at first glance, it looks like these forms are uh, done in black, um, but in reality, if you get closer, you'll see that there is a black base, but there's also layers of purple in these forms as well. And the color purple, for me, is a color of divine royalty, uh, majesty, um, informed by, you know, a, a light spirit or manifestation of light spirit. So you've got this interplay of these darker spirit forms and these lighter spirit forms, which are representation of spirits brought to light. And the movement in the painting is one of ascension. In other words, the, the story uh, telling in this painting runs from the bottom ascending to the top of the canvas and uh, concluding in this kind of uh, larger, greater expression with this bold orange color. Uh, and these darker forms seem to be drawn in this interplay towards the top of the canvas in those darker forms directionally. Um, I think some of these forms, I've seen um, reference in kind of thinking about this painting over the last uh, five weeks or so since it was completed in some traditional um, native um, symbols, although not a direct copy or not copied from any of those symbols, but I just, you know, in looking at this painting and evaluating it after the fact, I can see where I could find and draw reference to that. Um, another influence in my work uh, as an artist that I feel is a real master of abstract painting is Clifford Still. And I wouldn't say this painting is representative of a still painting, but I will say to you that I recognize that the limited color palette and some of the forms that I use 
I can see the influence of my looking at and studying Clifford Still's work um, for really a number of years, going back to 2003, 2004, not as an artist at that time, but just as someone who appreciated Still's work. And here in Colorado, in Denver specifically, we have the largest collection of Still, Clifford Still work in the Clifford Still uh, Gallery and uh, Museum. And the Clifford Still Museum was a collaboration between the city and county of Denver and Clifford Still's estate. And so I've had the opportunity to have a lot of exposure to his work. And, and I do uh, note that the first painting I ever did, this humble little, you know, four by four or five by five square canvas, which I will do another video and, and share a little bit about that painting and one other in my path, definitely has the influence of my time consuming Clifford Still's work. And so uh, that that is kind of uh, comes to light for me as well. So there you have it. That's the painting. Um, it is uh, going to be made available uh, for sale again. It'll go back on exhibition after staying here with me for a while. It's something like I said I've done before where I'll take a painting after it's been um, exhibited. And if it doesn't sell, um, I'll bring it home sometimes and just kind of, again, I think living with art is really important. And um, with a painting like this, which I completed and then immediately took it essentially from the studio right to the first exhibition, I really didn't have an opportunity to spend any time with this painting. And so uh, what I'm intending to do is to, to do that for now until the next opportunity to show the painting. It will be available on my website at jamesholmstudio.com. If uh, someone's interested, it is available for purchase. Um, it can be acquired uh, through the website or by contacting me directly. It measures 60 inches in height, 48 inches in width, and has a one and a half inch border because it's a gallery wrapped canvas. It's done 100% in acrylic and then uh, varnished with a uh, archival uh, non-yellowing uh, varnish to protect the um, painting itself. You can find me on Facebook by going to James Holmes Studio and on Instagram at James Holmes Studio. Also, be sure to check out my uh, YouTube channel. I just um, launched that. I have a lot of videos on there, artist talks, uh, studio tours, and uh, conversations about other of my uh, of works going back to 2018 and all those things can be found on youtube at james holmes studio as well thanks for taking the time and i uh, hope you're making the time to appreciate and engage with art i believe um, living with art is a powerful form of self-love and um, appreciate all the support i've gotten on my artist path and i hope you have a blessed day